Okay, it's time to look at my horribly unmade bed. Uh, I've been uh, doing jump rope, as you've uh, been watching, and I have hit the magic 1,000 mark and even gone up to 1,100. Now, I did that with the cross rope. Uh, I've got the shorter version of this uh, that's out in my, uh, have a, a van, which is the, the subject of this channel, and they'll be returning to that subject at some point. Uh, but, um, so, these have allowed me to be a lot quicker, and you know, you know all the good things about these, these, uh, these cross ropes. You know, and that's, that's what I've been using uh, quite a bit. Uh, but, uh, uh, I've used both the, the, uh, two pound and one pound get stronger. I have not yet used the four pound and five pound ultra strong, ultra heavy set. So I haven't used that yet. Now what I have been using on occasion is this. This is the old battle style rope. And because these are not spinners like this, you have to treat them differently. So basically what I've been doing, even barehanded, what I do is I loosen up on them to a degree. So they actually, I actually allow them to spin. Now I also have some some cheap gloves that would allow them to spin. That way I don't uh, hurt my hands with using this uh, traditional type of, they usually call it battle style rope. Uh, so that's what I've been using uh, for that. And like I say, I've been doing a thousand. Now I, I did probably 700 of them, 800 of the last thousand with the, with the uh, Get Stronger set. So uh, that's basically been uh, the focus of my improvement. Now, I ordered on Amazon this little tally. It's basically a push button. One, two, three, etc. You can turn it over right side up. And I, I basically can use this to, uh, to help me compute my activities when I do jump rope because I don't count to a thousand. What I do is set to 50. So I do 50 and then I'll break and click this. Sometimes I'll do 100 or 75 or however, however far I can reach. But I try to do it at least every 50. If I do 100, I hit it twice. And that would allow me to have a running total of the number of uh, 50 sets or jumps that I do. And that allow me to keep track of it without trying to stretch and remember 666, 667. You know, just 1 through 50, click. One through 50, click. I, then I look down, I have two. I know it's 100 or two sets of 50. So that's basically what I've been doing. I'll be showing me doing some more jump rope among other things. Um, cold as heck outside. So what I basically did was this morning when I had a break, I got on my Aerodyne bike and rode it for an hour. Now, if I don't get out there, it's, it's cold out there. Now, not that cold. But if I don't get out there and do at least... 500 to a thousand on the jump rope i'll be i'll i'll go this i'll go three hours on this i'll go i've already had one i'll do a a, a, a one say somewhere between midday and three in the in the afternoon and then one sometime between three and ten at night so i'll i'll get i will use that to make up now that what doesn't make up for the strength and value of using up the big rope like this or the get stronger uh, or if I ever, when I get to it, the, the heavy, the ultra heavy, which is the four or five pound. But what it will allow me to do is make sure that I get calorie burn and have enough, at least semi aerobic to make up for the, for the, uh, uh calorie, uh, generate calorie burn. So I don't, I won't gain strength, but I also won't gain weight because I'll be doing the, the, the process of the calorie burn. So, basically that's all I wanted to tell you was what I was doing is, and I'll be showing myself jumping every now and then and doing some other things. I haven't walked in a while, uh, and that's just because it's been uncomfortable and I've been busy. I work during the day, so walks are, I have to jam them in to the, to the evening, and there's also rush hour there, so there's also crazy people on vehicles, in vehicles, so I, I, I have to gauge when it, when I'm not when when I'm not going to do that, 
So I backed off of that and I've just replaced it with jumping or skipping if you're in, the, in European and most other places in the world, European, Australian, etc. Uh, you know, uh, I, can, I can do that. So basically what I'm doing is flexing according to the weather condition, according to the availability of doing any specific thing. So that's basically all I want to give you a quick rundown on. Still, still running, still jumping, or skipping. Uh, so that's basically the thing. And like I said, this is going to help me because I'm going to tally. Okay, I got 50. Click once. And I, right now, I'm, I'm already at, at see. If so, if I was doing 50 sets, that's five, 250. Then I'll know exactly where it is, and I won't have to keep up with a running count of of a thousand or more. Not that I'm not smart enough to do that. I just, it just, I will lose track if I, I'm distracted with this. I won't lose track, or if I do lose track, it's only going to be a 50 off, and then I can add it on later, etc. All right, I'll give you a quick rundown on that. So I'm still, still spending a lot of time, uh, you know, trying to stay in shape. I'm about 192. You know, I, I was 250 uh, last year before the pandemic, and I'm 192 now. Um, and uh, I do not want to get below. I could risk 185 to 195, you know, and, and be fine. Uh, and that would put me in the normal range of most of the paper version of ideal weight. So I don't even know if that's a practical way of doing it. So any, anything between 185 and 195, which is my current weight, and I'm almost smack dab in the middle, I'm happy. All right, I'll get back with you, and I'll be talking about to get stronger. And I admit, and I'll eventually go over to the ultra heavy and, and do that. And like I said, I'm not as interested in pure aerobic. I just also want to be interested in doing muscle building and you can get a little subtle type of muscle building. I have noticed an increase in my strength and I have not been doing as much resistance stuff as I need to do with the, with the bars over here and over here and back in the corner. So uh, I need to do more of that as well. I'll talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.